Aloha. Now, before we get into today's Cusco and Cut, which is going to have one single cut in it, I wanted to talk about this for just a moment because it seemed important. Um, I mentioned that we were going to be doing a whiskey review on this channel to promote our other channel, The Whiskey Wimps. And most people in the comments were super stoked about it. We're like, yes, please want to see it because they know about my personal affinity for whiskey. So there were a couple comments that were like, please don't do that here. And I'm not insensitive to the fact that there have been families ruined by alcohol. I'm not insensitive to that fact, so I can understand where some people are coming from. However, it's not the case with our family. And just like I wouldn't want to impart my own values upon your family, I ask that you don't do the same for mine, respectfully. Uh, I am reading a book right now. I, I, I use whiskey as a creative tool, a very powerful creative tool. That's how I use it. I'm actually reading this book right here. I just want to read you one paragraph from the beginning of a chapter and one paragraph from the end of the same chapter just to give you an idea of where it's at. And you, you're not going to get the whole essence of this book from those two, chap those two paragraphs. However, uh, I still want to read them for you before we get into this actual Cusco Uncut, if you wouldn't mind. Read them to you real quick. And it's a great book, by the way. Uh, I mean, fantastic. Read. I haven't read a book in a while. I'm already like almost halfway through it in a day. Very good. As we saw in the creativity experiment described earlier in this book, if we want to recreate the cognitive flexibility of a child, a transcranial magnet would do the trick. We can just zap the prefrontal cortex into submission. Such devices, however, have only become available recently. They are also expensive, not very portable, and typically not welcome at parties. What we need is something really low tech, something that effectively takes the prefrontal cortex offline and makes us happy and relaxed, but only for a few hours or so. Something that can be made anywhere, out of almost anything, by anyone, and produced reasonably cheaply. Bonus points if it tastes good can be easily paired with food and leads to dancing and other forms of communal sociality. Straight to the last paragraph, just to keep it short. This is why alcohol use, despite its costs and problems it brings in its wake, has not been eliminated by genetic evolution or cultural fiat, whether literally or spiritually. From time to time, we need to get drunk. Apollo must be subordinated to Dionysus. The wolf needs to give way to the Labrador. The adult needs to cede her place to the child. In his seminal work on chemical intoxication, The Doors of Perception, Aldous Huxley wisely observes that, quote, Systematic reasoning is something we could not, as a species or as individuals, possibly do without. But neither, if we are to remain sane, can we possibly do without direct perception, the more unsystematic the better, of the inner and outer worlds into which we have been born. In other words, being human requires a careful balancing act between Apollo and Dionysus. We need to be able to tie our shoes, but also be occasionally distracted by the beautiful or interesting or new. Because of the distinctive adaptive challenges we face as a species, we require a way to inject controlled doses of chaos into our lives. Apollo, the sober grown-up, can't be in charge all of the time. Dionysus, like a hapless toddler, may have trouble getting his shoes on, but he sometimes manages to stumble on novel solutions that Apollo would never see. Intoxication technologies, alcohol paramount among them, have historically been one way we have managed to Leave the door open for Dionysus. And it is sipping, dancing, wildly ecstatic Dionysus who freed us from our selfish ape selves long enough to drag us stumbling and laughing into civilization. Yeah. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Aloha. Aloha. Top of the morning, friends and family. We are here on the set of the Whiskey Wimps. Let me show you. Show me, All right, show I'm going to walk away from the mic. Friend, like, this is just like half of... What we done? We got more shit over there. I mean, that's just more balls and shit that we've, we've been drinking. We Matt, this is a family channel. You're just gonna s drop four letter words like it's cool? Yep. Pretty much. <laughs> so, three times a week we put out videos. Two of them are beautifully edited masterpieces. One of them is uncut. <laughs> So I told you guys that we were going to be doing an uncut video from here on the set of the Whiskey Wimps, which is set in my beautiful backyard with 
with the chickens. Great lighting and and great chickens doing chicken life. Chicken life. Eating chicken feed. Mm -hmm. And scratching mm -hmm. and picking. P picking for legless lizards that they eat. Yeah, they do eat legless lizards from time to time. They they cleared out the entire hillside of any kind of foliage whatsoever. Yeah. And we film out here <laughs> for our, our whiskey channel. Yeah, we do this live. In uncut. Well, somewhat cut. Brian likes to cut it and makes it look beautiful. It's beautiful. And we, we film a whole month of episodes. One day. In one day. Actually, not even a day. I would call this like, we did this in two hours? Less? Yeah, that's fair. In, in about two hours, we filmed a whole month of episodes on the Whiskey Wimps. A lot of whiskey. A lot, a lot, a lot of whiskey. Because whiskey helps, guys. God damn it, does it help? <laughs> it helps. <laughs> and I figured we'd do a Whiskey Wimp style video for you guys here on the vlog channel so you can see what you've been potentially missing or not missing whatsoever. Brian's a man. I, I don't even know what to say. Like, if Brian's a man. He's the man. Picked up this bottle. If you guys watched the unboxing from Reshot Reptiles, it's. Oh, God damn it. Thanks for my mug, Reshot Reptiles. Where's my mug? I sent you a female and you've gotten, well, one clutch that you. Well, one of them you, you, you cooked. The other one you, you did great, but I didn't get a mug. Where's my mug? Matt, you can, you can take that mug right there. You can take that home. Reshot Reptiles didn't even make this mug. Like, who made it? This Morville. Melville pottery? <laughs> Morville. Morville. Not even a retail retail. Like like more like Lesville, am I right? Like Lesville. It's not even a dump my water out. I do so much work for you guys in this way how you how you repay me. Don't you send me a mug? Wait, what, what work have you done? Do you want to know what I've done? I want to know what you've done. I try to send them over the CRM software. And how do they repay me? Nothing. You need to speak in your microphone, sir. Sorry. I'm going to speak into the microphone. They have repaid me with nothing. Now, when you say nothing... Ooh, yes. Ooh, nice cling. Cling, cling, what, cling. What do you mean by nothing? Garrett sends me nothing. He doesn't call me. I have to call him. <laughs> that, that inhale and exhale were everything. The truth. The truth is so raw and uncut. Oh, it's uncut. And just like this, this video right now, this is uncut. This is unfiltered. Garrett. This is for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want to be, I don't want to be carried right now. <laughs> let's, let's put this up and let's well, see what's happening. Welcome back, guys. This is the Whiskey Wimps. And this is what we're here for. We're here to bring you joy, love, fulfillment. Brian's taking the light away from me right now. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's not looking so good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> not looking so good. I'm looking great, Brian. What? I'm always looking great. This is my mug. Is this is not exactly how the episodes always start? No, no go is... go check out the whiskey wimps link in the description on YouTube if you want to learn more about whiskey. Which, if you've been watching this vlog channel since like almost the very, very beginning, like within the first 10 episodes, I professed deeply my love for the brown spirits. No, that's not a racist joke, it's whiskey the truth. Helps, guys. And look, brown water helps people. That's not what it says. I'm no. pretty sure. Wait. It's fun. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of your mind. Anyway, if you watched the last video, you saw me at Costco picking this up after getting some good advice from an old cowboy down there. And I didn't see it. Yeah, it's because you haven't watched the channel. Oh, I'm going to watch, guys. E Make sure to watch this guy's vlog channel and taste... They're literally watching the vlog channel right now. Well, share it with friends. What's these? I need more viewers on this, this channel here. Watch his 
He's pouring more. Bro. This, this is crap, by the way. No, this is good Costco whiskey. You almost good, missed the bottle. Fantastic. No, I did not miss the bottle. I saw him miss it there. Watch, he, he said to pour down. It's Mike and Ike's. I got it right here. No, this is not Mike and Ike's. This is, this is not how the channel usually goes. Again, the link is down in the description if you want to check the Whiskey Wimps. As I mentioned, I've been into whiskey since... Ten decades ago. Like, like 20, no, like 10, 10 years ago? Five. 20 years ago. Mike and Ike's. Mike and Ike's. Costco, one whole liter. Look at that giant bottle. Good. Enormous. Good night of living. We're almost done, Hillary, and we're going to be... Come up, come up. Come on up. We need you now. We need you to sprint. No, no, no. You're going back up the stairs. I have nothing on my feet. You don't need anything on your feet. Come on. Leia. This is, this is uncut. Leia doesn't do anything on, with feet on. She just runs across that thing barefoot like a champ. Hillary, you're beautiful. Come on up. Hillary, come on down. Do, 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 do. Look at those beautiful feet walking on that grass. Oh, uh, uh, no grass. <laughs> Hillary, come on down. No grass. There we go. Now we're now we're talking. There we go. Crunch, crunch. Ah. Hillary, come up on the platform. Here we go. Hey, welcome back, Hillary. Hillary, you are so much better than Brian. <laughs> I will say this is a pleasure to have you here. On the whiskey glimpse. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank, thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Brian is tasting the Kirkland uh, small batch that we now have here. How was my pour? Was it okay? Did it, it mess pour, you up? Your pour was awesome, by the okay. way. Okay. Please. Okay. Clink me. That's what we're talking about. Welcome to the whiskey glimpse. Hillary, what are you tasting here? Some honey. Hot, ooh. Some vanilla. Vanilla? Uh huh. Maybe a little, little Pete. Oh, 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 Pete? <laughs> Pete? <laughs> Pete? <laughs> Hillary, tell me, where did you get this Pete from? I'm just throwing out the no, terms no, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're hearing things. My dad drank his own Pete. What, boy? <laughs> you drank your own Pete. Hey. <laughs> what I mean, yeah, that's true. true. But. All right, Brian, bring it back to us. What are the what, what makes it happen? Now Thank I you, can't. I like I've told. I can pick out flavors from beer. Uh huh. Little bit of wine, but okay. whiskey to me, honestly, they either taste smoky or they taste like kind of mapley, honeyish. Okay, so you get a lot of like maple honey, like very much off the wood here. Sure. Okay. <laughs> See, I, I don't know. No, no, no. I just no, can't. No, like, no, Hillary, this is what you're helping our viewers. <laughs> Like, like Brian and I are are, are smelly vaunts as you, you like. What do you think? What do you smell on this? Stinginess. <laughs> Stinginess. Can you just yuck? Stinginess. Nope. Stinginess. Yeah. You know, you like that's what I smell too. Is a lot of stinginess. Stingy? Does it sting? And or also, sting? guys, guess what? Chickens fuck and poop. Wow. All right. No, it stinks. By the way, he's a like uh -huh. a poo poo head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> my family. <laughs> but no, what? I I've tried. Oh, you just whacked me in the nuts, boy. Oh. Wait, what? Oh. I used to, like do whiskey tastings with him, and to me, it's like either smoky or it's like See, more. The Irish stuff gives you a lot of And this has been since we were in Scotland. Mm -hmm. Remember, I remember sitting in like the largest whiskey collection in the world or whatever and just thinking well this one tastes kind of like honey so i like this well see when i did it with my this family one does not. all they did was like it smells like alcohol that's all they said to me like it smells like okay alcohol. so i'm a little bit more advanced you're a little bit more advanced than my family <laughs> I, I, it's a plus to be uh sitting standing here next to you <laughs> well, yeah that's true whether you're drinking whiskey or not <laughs> oh Have I had that the entire month of our channel? Yeah, it's been there a month. I just you never told to you. <laughs> but yeah, so that's my... I feel very alone right now. 
<laughs> you, and you wanted to invite my grandma on? She's going to make you feel even more alone. Why are you alone? Because you rubbed his cheek. You didn't rub mine. Because oh. you don't have anything on it. Damn right, I don't. <laughs> 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 that was good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get out of here. We're all done. Right, we're right. done. In and out time, guys. <laughs> this is no, nothing no, like the children. Whiskey Wimps channel, by the way. <laughs> this only happens on the vlog channel. <laughs> only stuff like this. All right. <laughs> Everything's better than with whiskey. And friends. <laughs> <laughs>